Hello, and welcome to our Arkell Academy channel. In this video, we will explain the encoder communication error in Arkell driver systems. This training video is intended for informative purposes only and prepared for experienced and certified experts in the elevator field. The assembly or maintenance personnel is responsible for taking all the necessary precautions to prevent any accidents during the assembly. This error occurs as ER20 in our code, H43 in our cube, and error 24 in A drive when the encoder board cannot communicate with the absolute encoder or when it gets erroneous information. This error occurs only with synchronous motor systems. If this error appears continuously during installation, encoder connection and parameters should be checked. The connections between the encoder and the encoder board should be checked in accordance with cable colors. Cable colors can be checked from the datasheet of the encoder or from the motor supplier. In addition to encoder supply A, A minus, B, and B minus, connections for NDAT, SSI, and BISS encoders, clock and data connectors are connected to the CL plus, CL minus, DA plus, and DA minus terminals of the encoder board. For SYNCOS encoders, they are connected to the C plus, C minus, D plus, and D minus terminals. If there are sensor cables in addition to the supply cables, they should be connected. After the encoder connections are checked according to the cable colors, the encoder type parameters should be checked. In our code, the encoder type can be arranged by going to the Device Parameters menu, Driver Settings menu, Motor Encoder Settings menu, Encoder Type. For quick access to this parameter while on the Device Parameters menu, press F3 button. Using direction arrows, write 520 in the opened window and press Enter. In our cube, it can be set from the parameters of the 5.5 Motor Encoder Type menu under the 5 Motor Parameters menu. In A drive, it can be set from the parameters of the 2.21 Absolute Encoder Type menu under the 2 Motor Parameters menu. If the encoder communication error still appears even though the connections and parameters are correctly set, encoder board itself and the LEDs on it should be checked. On anchor board, the encoder supply 5 volt LED should give a stable light. If the encoder board cannot communicate with the encoder or there is short circuit in the encoder cable or the encoder itself, it will cause the supply to drop and as a consequence, the 5 volt LED will go off. If the 5 volt LED blinks, it means that the encoder might be faulty. It should be changed. If the encoder communication error appears from time to time, the encoder might be affected by noise. In this situation, the grounding quality should be checked. The panel should be provided a high-quality grounding. The motor should absolutely be connected to the ground. The encoder cable should absolutely be shielded, and the shield should not be connected to the ground. The JP output in the anchor board is not a ground connector. It should not be connected. In the case of a wrong connection, the encoder or the encoder board might get broken. The encoder cable should be a single part. Extensions to the encoder cable should not be done. The encoder cable should be at least 10 cm far from motor cable and AC supplies, such as safety circuit supply. It should not be in the same cable duct as those lines. If there is no bridge from 1000 to the ground in the panel, this connection must be done. If the encoder communication error appears when the elevator is stopping, in other words, when the contactors are dropped, be sure that varistors or RC filters are used on the supply coils of the contactors. Make sure that an RFI filter, zero phase reactor, is used on R code UVW motor outputs and that the motor cable is passed through the RFI filter ring at least two turns. If after all these controls the encoder communication error still appears, it should be tested with a new encoder or encoder board. For more information, please visit our website and check our user manual. Also, 
please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notifications to get notified about our new training videos. We hope to see you in our next Arkel training video. Goodbye!